Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, this is uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, this is episode seven of uh, the Tube Cast. Uh, if you're if you're new to the show, this is your first your first time. Um, welcome to the party, Pat. I'm gonna be real gentle. Uh, you, okay, you know, we're not gonna <laughs> not gonna. We're not gonna prove you too much. Gonna, we're not gonna <laughs> force ourselves on you, you know. And, <laughs> So it's your first time, you know, take it nice and slow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so so get ready to have your cherry popped. Uh, and I'll be a gentleman, and I, I won't I won't tell my friends. I, I <laughs> totally won't tell. Yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might tell my friends a little bit. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll tell them nice things. Um, anyway, so please, you could join us. This is... Uh, this is our St. Patrick's Day uh, episode. Um, yes. to hopefully, some of you returning from our last episode. That was a, a uh, that was our, a Valentine's Day episode. If you believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, that was a Valentine's Day episode. We didn't make a big deal about it, no. uh, but it was. <clears throat> anyway, on today's episode of Tubecast, we're going to be talking about. Uh, Captain Picard and well a, his trip to Ireland apparently did you did you know about that cat, cat woman uh, I've heard something about that so he went to Captain Picard went to Ireland uh, <laughs> so we'll talk about that we're also going to talk about uh, Vladimir Putin's scary robots he's got he's got he's got he's got robots um, they're Irish robots. That's right. Because this is in keeping with our our, our, our our theme. That's right. And uh, finally, the last story we're going to be talking about today is uh, we're going to have an update on uh, everybody's favorite uh, story, uh, the, the Supergirl TV series. We're going to have a little update. Update on Supergirl. That's right. It's not a big one, just a little small baby update. A little teeny tiny one. Um, you have to tune in to find out what it is. Did you have to wait to the end, though? You gotta stay to the end. So, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't skip in like twenty minutes or so. No, stay to the end. That's right. Anyway, it's it'll all be coming up. So if you just stay right there, uh, it, we're here for uh, episode seven of uh, the the tube cast. Did uh, you with the with the music? Go. Mm -hmm. Chickens, That's right. delicious, like delicious chickens. Mm -hmm. Delicious chickens. They're the best. So, Catwoman, uh -huh. you drink a lot of water, right? That's right. I drink a lot of folks. I drink a lot of water. Um, we all, we all drink a lot of water. Well, you should all drink a lot of water. I don't know. You could. They say you're supposed to have a lot of water. They want eight. A lot, but glasses. not too much. Not too much. I don't know. Um, I drink a lot of water. It happens. I like it. Eight cups a day is what they say you should have. Ooh. Mm. That's a lot of cups. That's a lot. Water cups. makes me pee, and I would be in the bathroom all day. And I'm glad you mentioned that, <laughs> Catwoman. Because water makes me pee, too. And apparently, <laughs> even in the final frontier, other people have to pee. That's right. <laughs> All right, everyone, that brings us to our next story <clears throat> from BBC News, Northern Ireland. No, Northern Ireland. Ireland. 
Ooh, Dude. great. That sounds fun. Everybody <laughs> get your pipe bombs. Do. <laughs> no, don't do no pipe bombs. Oh, great. <laughs> don't do bad. Uh, now, now the show is on a secret list because I said pipe bombs oh, on the internet. Christ. I'm not, I'm not. We're not no. terrorists, no. I promise. No jihad, promise. No. <laughs> Love you. All right. Anyway, February 23rd, 2015, Northern Ireland. Urinating man claimed to be Star Trek's Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, the final frontier, let me tell you. <laughs> A man told police who stopped him for urinating in the street that he was the captain of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> A court has heard. Well. Oh, God. That's right. So he told the police he's uh, Jean-Luc Picard, the captain of the Starship Enterprise. Uh, Kenneth Clinton, 49, age 49, Kenneth Clinton, Claimed to be the Star Trek The Next Generation character, Jean-Luc Picard. He then punched and kicked at two officers on Bontan, Bonac Street. Bontac Street. Botac, Botac, Botan, Botanic. Botanic? Botanic? Botanic Street. Botanic Ave. Botanic. 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 <laughs> um, Avenue in Belfast, Ireland. <laughs> uh, he admitted indecent behavior and two counts of assault on the police. Uh, the judge gave him a 12-month conditional discharge. Ooh, Ooh, that sounds dirty. It's better than a milky discharge. Ew. Ew. Gross. Gross. No, no. <laughs> Do not. I just saw that. That... It, we can't that'll ban they'll ban the video if you put that up that, I'm serious that's just porn that's just porn and that's not why you're here Get, come on people love porn it, maybe <laughs> Catwoman with it you gotta you gotta agree you're looking at that you that's uh it. that's that, wrong it's clearly what that is I don't care if it's from a medical textbook no that's not Ew. they don't have that kind of lighting in textbooks so. 86 that real fast okay sick bastard <laughs> All right, so he admitted the indecent behavior. They let him off with a milky discharge, and uh, yeah. So I just can't get over that. That's really funny. Um, the, the captain Jean Luc Picard peeing in the middle of the road. I find that funny. Um, that's not very. That's that's. What does Patrick Stewart think of this? That's what I want. To man's obviously batshit crazy <laughs> he's awesome though people patrick stewart's a, oh you're talking about I'm talking uh, about the guy that said that he's <laughs> yeah no P patrick Picard. stewart you're you're not you're not no. batshit. you're you're no, pimp you're awesome you're a pimp you're, you've got like a, a 25 year old wife or something and you're pushing <laughs> in you're you're dude you're the man um, just yeah, yeah. anyhow mm. clinton of Britain's parade in the city was spotted urinating on 31 July last year. Why are they typing it like? Shouldn't it be July 31st last year? Because it's from. Um, Am I not looking at this right? No, it's because it's from not from the U.S. Yeah, but they're so they did it. But that it's way. Ireland, though. Is that not what Ireland? They... A lot of places do. The, they're doing the it. Number and then the. And then the uh, month. Well, that's not the American way. Let me just. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> that's the, this. Is what it looks like, folks. Yeah. Let me just fix that. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's <clears throat> better. <laughs> he was spotted urinating on July 31st of last year. He apologized. As police stopped to speak him, he began to walk away. So this is exactly what he... This is what happened. See, this article is written backwards. Are you, are you reading ahead? <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be a surprise. All right. It was a surprise, all right. <laughs> oh, surprise. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, this is what happened. I'm going to break it down. Uh, he apologized. Yeah, that makes... If he apologized, then that, that did the following is a problem. But that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's not what happened. Someone who put this art article together was obviously uh, maybe related to this guy because <laughs> they're, not, they're not quite right. I don't care if you're from Ireland or not. Oh, well, they're drunk when they're doing well, it. That's the problem. It all makes sense now. <laughs> you Irish. You Irish, and you're, if you're going to write news, please put the B as a way for a little bit. <laughs> right. Okay? If you're gonna do the news, put the beer away. Then, then you enjoy it after. Um, okay, so this is what happened. As police stopped to speak to him, he began to walk away with his genitals still exposed, <laughs> according to the prosecution. A lawyer told the court that on being asked his name, Clinton replied, I'm Captain Picard of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> sure you are. He refused to give more details, then started punching and kicking both officers. CS spray had to be deployed to calm him down. Clinton later apologized for his behavior, blaming it, blaming it on the alcohol, but would not put his genitals away. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He doesn't say that, but he blamed it on the alcohol. Clinton made the wrong decision after learning that public toilets were closed. Uh, that's basically his defense. That's what the defense said. Yeah. The defense. They said that. That's right. Defense. Defense. Yeah, so, you know, he said he made the wrong decision after learning that. But, well, you know, I could see how he might make that decision given the choice. No, I if don't see no why. If there's no toilet and you have to pee, then what else are you going to do? You're going to pee in the street? Why wouldn't you go, like, behind a building or something? That's a good one. I mean, if you're drunk, I guess. Sometimes oh. you, and you gotta go, you gotta go. You Irish, I swear. <laughs> um, so he later apologized for his behavior, blaming it on the alcohol. You know, the defense said that he made the wrong decision. He said, whilst in the process of urinating in public... His case is the police officer put a hand on his shoulder and said, Do you want me to put you on the sex offenders register? <laughs> what? <laughs> the lawyer said Clinton had personal difficulties and acknowledged that he had handled the situation badly. Uh, yeah, that's a little awkward. Well, you know, I don't... Why would you be on the sex offenders list for peeing? Well, because you're exposed in public. Oh, okay. So that... I was like, what? what? <laughs> peeing is like sex. People can see <laughs> your... Uh... No! Your stuff. <laughs> no, no, it's not... Don't... I know... I know all about that, but I'm not even going to say it because I don't want an image for it. You put those in... We're not... No. What's wrong with you, sickies? <laughs> Obviously, we need parental controls on the internet in here. <laughs> right? Out of in the studio, they're having way too much freedom of what Stop they're looking trying at. trying to put wieners on there. <laughs> Just put wieners and vages and... <laughs> oh. No, we can't have that. We're, this is supposed to be a friendly uh, a program, all ages, you know? We're not... Right. Uh, I swear occasionally, but come on, folks. <laughs> so he said he had personal difficulties... The judge said she was taking the unusual course of imposing a conditional discharge based on his mental health issues. That is not to reduce the severity of what happened, but due to the particular circumstances of this individual, she said. Hmm. Okay. And uh, so, you know, there you have it, folks. Uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard of Ireland, he, uh, he, he has to pee. If you're Jean-Luc Jean -Luc Picard from Ireland, then you can get away with peeing in public. Yeah, basically. That's what we learned from this story. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Sometimes when you have to pee, you just have to pee. I mean, what's he gonna do? Pee his pants? That's no good. 
No bueno. All the cool kids pee the pants. <laughs> I know. I just did that joke last week, and I did it again this week. I like it. I like the joke. I like it ev- works. Everybody loves that movie. I love it's that movie. It's a good movie. Adam Sandler, he's... Look, he's funny he's, in that movie. I, I, he's funny. He's funny in a lot of... Well... He, he was he's, funny in a he's lot made of a lot of funny movies. He'll make funny movies again, okay, folks? It'll happen <laughs> again someday. We hope. We hope. We hope it'll happen again someday. <sighs> Adam Sandler, I'm sorry. You, you, dude. Yeah. I don't know what happened to you, but... Get a hold of it, man. You're making me sad. <laughs> it's a no good. Get you right here. <laughs> yeah, so, um... I, you know, word to the wise, uh, don't pee in the streets. And if you pee in the streets, uh, don't Just say ass- you're John Luke Picard and you'll be fine. Put your genitals away. Don't assault the police. And well, no, no, do assault the police. Yeah, Keep your genitals out. Yeah, because then they'll think you're batshit crazy and be like, hey, it's all right. <laughs> Claim you're the captain of the Starship Enterprise, because baby, that's a ticket to pee anywhere you f- you oh, free. Right. You know, that's that's a. A ticket to to I to whip it out wherever you want. <laughs> I guess he's gonna. You know he got stopped again, but he's changed his name, <laughs> folks. He changed his name. His name is IP Freely. <laughs> that's right. He's peeing freely. <laughs> um, Easily. That's right. <laughs> no depends for him when he's eighty. <laughs> I just well, I can't help but think what would the what would Captain Jean Luc Picard from the TV show actually do in that situation? Can you imagine that he's got his genitalia out and he just walks away, <laughs> and then he de- declares who he is and, 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 and attacks the police. Right. Was it still like out when he was attacking the police? Yeah. <laughs> he That's didn't put it wrong. away. He was dangling. <laughs> It's all whipping around. Holy. Jeez. <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> the first thing I'd do is put it away if I saw the blood. Yeah. Yeah, right? Jeez. I don't want to take a billy club to the uh, uh, sax yeah, there. D- no, no, thank you. I'm not even a guy. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, no good. Yeah. I could see Captain Kirk maybe doing that. That's like a <laughs> double fist punch you and run away. <laughs> With your wiener flapping. <laughs> wiener flapping. <laughs> oh, God. But, uh, no, I, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, Ireland, only in Ireland. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, folks. This has been brought to you by the Ireland Board of Tourism. Uh, visit Ireland, enjoy our colorful culture and uh, people. <laughs> Ireland. You might see a schlong or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you can pee in the streets if you're a member of the uh, Federation, at least if you're a captain. That's right. <laughs> and on, on that note, uh, with this story, uh, hailing frequencies closed. So this next story comes to us from Den of Geeks. This is going to be an update uh, for the Supergirl uh, story. A lot of you uh, enjoy uh, enjoyed episode five. Of the of the tube cast, our our big Supergirl episode, um, you know it's 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 great. I'm I'm glad you all enjoy that, and I want to let you all know that we're going to continue uh, following that and many other stories much like that. So if you continue to come back here, sprinkled in with the rest of this news, will be that kind of news because we like comic book movies here at the tube cast. All three of us do. And, um, well, more, okay, okay, all five of us do. <laughs> the, the graphics and sound booth would like me to acknowledge they, they do, too. Um, they do. Yeah. We all do. It's true. It, it is what it is. Um, so expect that stuff, because it's going to keep coming. So I just wanted to let you know, this is an update. Update mm-hmm. to the Supergirl TV series. If you haven't seen episode five, go Go check it out. It's the big Supergirl episode. How can you not have seen it? Come on. Jeez. Make these things. Why aren't you watching them? Uh, no, you're watching them. Y'all, y'all. The, the originals. Those people. Those subscribers. Those those are the people who are watching them. That's right. 
So, uh, subscribe, become an original. Um, <laughs> anyway, title of this story, this is, this is from, uh, David Crow, uh, David Crow, David Crow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, David Crow, from, like, 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 like the la like episode six, where we talked about the, the Crow. Um, yep. many of you didn't watch that to watch Supergirl, uh, you should watch episode six. We'll talk all about the Crow reboot, so... You want to just make sure you go ahead and watch that. Also, you may want to watch episode two and episode four because those are two episodes you should probably watch. So, um, just a heads up. Anyway, back to the story by David Crow on 20th of February. Mm -hmm. So, 220, 2015. February 20th, 2015, another way to say it. See, you're so informative and educational here. Anyway, Laura Benanti, playing the mother of Supergirl. That's the title of this story. Laura Benanti will play Alora Zorel in the CBS upcoming Supergirl TV series, which is being masterminded by Greg Berlanti. Huh. That's a funny coincidence, huh? No, they're very similar. They're both, uh, they're both, they're both the same, uh, well, almost. No, but... Benanti, Benan, Benanti, Berlanti, Benanti and Berlanti, the cops. <laughs> it would almost seem that you cannot go a full 24 hours nowadays without another superhero casting announcement. But this is a big one for fans of the Greg Berlanti masterminded DC television universe. Let's say that 10 times fast. Laura Bena ben Benanti has been cast as Alora Zorel as the mother of Supergirl, as revealed by Deadline. Belanti will play, or I mean, excuse me, Benanti, 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 Benanti will play the Kryptonian mom to Melissa Benoist's Kara Zorel, aka Supergirl. Alora is a strong, noble woman. That will save young Kara's life by guiding her across space and time to the heaven of Earth. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that, did you? Heaven is a place on Earth. I, don't, I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See that? I told you that worked. Thank you, Sound Booth. Yeah. No, I don't care. I don't, no, it's not a gay song. Shut up. Okay. <clears throat> Enough of that. Uh, Benanti, best known for appearing on shows like Nashville, The Sound of Music, and The Playboy Club, joins a high-priority superhero series for CBS from executive producer Greg Berlanti and Allie Adler of Chuck. Chuck? Are you familiar with a show called Chuck? I am not. Chumpkins, you heard of Chuck? Okay. Chumpkins has heard of Chuck. He likes of course, it. I don't know where where are you watching all this stuff? Okay. Anyway. Uh Supergirl is set in the same universe as the Flash and Arrow, and may eventually cross over with those shows. Uh Kara Supergirl Danvers is described in the series as having at age twelve been sent from her dying home planet of Krypton to Earth, where she was taken in by the Danvers, a foster family who taught her to be careful with her extraordinary powers. After repressing said skills for more than a decade, Kara is forced to burst out her superhero moves, and in public during an unexpected disaster. Well, this sounds like just about every other, uh, every other comic book thing, much. Yeah. but, um, well, almost every other comic book. A lot. a lot of them. It's a popular thing. Uh, whatever. Cool. I'm, I'm still on board with that. I yeah. thought this was going to be a crime drama. I know. I, apparently they changed that. Did together. they change that? Um, which that's st crime drama still up in the air. Hmm. Busts out her superhero moves. She get she begins embracing her abilities in the name of helping the people of her city earning her the super moniker along the way. Supergirl was created by Otto Binder and Al Plastino in 1959 to be a female counterpart to her more famous relative, the younger cousin of 
Kal Supergirl, has been part of the DC Universe in some capacity for over 50 years, and famously kicked the bucket in Crisis on Infinite Earths in 1985, long before it was fashionable for superheroes to do so. Remember that? In Crisis Infinite Earths, 1985? Sure. Sure. Sure you do. Yeah. I'm sure, if you're sure. That's right. Um... <laughs> yeah, remember those deodorant commercials? Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. You're sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. They go on to say, we have our own ideas about which Supergirl stories might influence the show. You can, yeah, and that's, that's what they say. You can, you can take that and leave it. So, um, I guess we don't really find out if they've changed the plans for, um, for the show, but... As of the last episode, the most recent article on it, gonna be a crime drama like CSI, hmm. only with Supergirl, and I don't quite understand the need for that, but hmm. let's just hope that she actually does, like, save the day with her powers and not get saved by some random guy like in the movie. Yeah. The movie, wasn't she always getting saved by that random guy? Hmm. Didn't have any powers or anything? Hmm. It's kind of weird because she's supposed to have superpowers. I don't know. I mean, not all the time, I guess, but I don't know. That, that movie was terrible. Yeah, a little bit. It could have been a lot better. I don't know. It's sloppy. Sloppy at best. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's 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 the update on the uh, the, the Supergirl show. Um, so, everyone, welcome Laura ben Benanti mm -hmm. to the cast. Uh, I'm sure she's not going to be in there the whole time. Unless they do like a, uh, like a Marlon Brando kind of thing where she's the computer in Supergirl's secret hideaway. Maybe. Yeah? Could you have. remember that from the Super Superman movies? Mm -hmm. Marlon yeah. Brando was his dad. Right. Hmm. Could be how it works. I don't know. We'll have to see. So, uh, folks, you, you... We will keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. And, uh, hey, if you find out anything... Um, let us know. Let us know, because we'd love to... We'd love to at least talk about it. Right? We got this whole section down here for comments. Mm -hmm. You can say you nice things, you can say you mean things. You can say whatever you want. You know, uh, hopefully they're nice. And, um, yeah, so uh, that's that's that one. The next, next story? Next story. On to the next. On to the next one. All right, and um, this story comes to us from CNET in the tech culture section. Of CNET, and it is by Bonnie Burton. And the title of this story is uh, Oh, this was posted on January 21st, 2015 at 7 38 a.m. Uh, to be specific. Um, the title of the story Russia's Combat Robot Fails to Impress Putin. Oh, mm. Putin on the Ritz. <laughs> And uh, the story goes on to say, uh, Russia's President Vladimir Putin, nicknamed Super Putin, <laughs> that's what it says, pilots jets, drives race cars, rides horses, tranquilizes polar bears, fishes, sh <laughs> fishes shirtless in freezing Siberian rivers, is a martial arts master in jo jodu jodu judo judo judy is that supposed to like make me wet or something like that's what it sounded like yeah as if, if fishes <laughs> he fishes shirtless shirtless, shirtless. Mm. wait till you see him without his shirt folks oh, oh. right there he's made entirely of belly skin <laughs> <laughs> um, that's right. He pilots jets, drives race cars, rides horses, tranquilizes polar bears, fishes shirtless in freezing Siberian rivers, is a martial arts master in judo, and can snapple caps off any size jug, bottle, or jar. Super Putin. And he really, really works. Terrible. This guy's a joke in himself. Anyway, 
Uh, so when you present him with the ultimate military robot, it better impress. It better be impressive. Sadly, when a research institute outside of Moscow showed off its latest cyborg combat robot technology in action, Putin seemed almost bored. In this video footage from Russia, Putin watches with seeming disappointment as the combat robot that looks like a member of Daft Punk inches its way onto an ATV bike around a snowy racetrack during a demo. So it rides a rides a, an ATV as you saw in the picture. Um, so this robot's going full wheeling. And we'll watch the video. Clearly, that was that was the sound of the robot taking a dump. Uh, clearly, we're we're in grave danger if these things get out. Could you imagine? They'd be zipping around the forest at a blazing two miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> if they stopped... I don't know. <laughs> what would they do? What's it gonna do? It doesn't have a gun. Right? What's it gonna... I don't know. Anyway, it, it, I don't know if it can walk, but it, it doesn't look like it can... Uh, it doesn't look like it can, can ride very good very well. Doesn't look like I can ride very well. Um, yeah, so super Putin, not super impressed. Understandable. Uh, there's even a burning vehicle in the background to give it that extra danger zone ambience, the, the, the article says. Um, however, with the helmet looks like a giant smile and the robot is just sitting there in an almost calm Knievel kind of way it's hard not to blame Putin for his lack of enthusiasm this can't be good news for Russia well it can't be good news for us these things are dangerous I'm scared <laughs> Me too. It, it's that that's the, that's a scary sight when you see that barreling down on you yeah. holy cats <laughs> um, this can't be good news for Russia, which has reportedly been determined to build a variety of combat robots, including small unmanned tanks equipped with machine guns, and samurai swords, and grenade launchers, and stinger missiles, and flamethrowers, and laser pistols, and disintegrator rays, and vibrators, and French ticklers, and 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 leg warmers i mean no no uh, <laughs> tanks equipped with machine guns that's that's what it said I, i'm sorry folks i don't know what i was reading that was uh that was not good and uh that's that's all the story says and it wants us to read about the windows phone and uh I couldn't give a damn about the Windows phone. Catwoman, you care about Windows phone? Not so much. You care about Putin's scary uh, robo cop there? No, that was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it could give the uh, the new robo cop a run for its money. It, it might. It might. <laughs> it, it it definitely looked a lot more badass and dystopic <laughs> than than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I think they got their helmet from the same store. Yeah, they're very similar. So, uh, I guess we don't have to worry about attack from ATV robots uh, anytime soon if we go to war with Russia. No. Um, I think Super Putin is, uh, is more dangerous with his shirtless uh, fishing and judo. Yeah, that scares me. No, no, no. He wasn't wrestling them. He was tranquilizing. I mean, them. oh. <laughs> That's right. Tranquilizing. Oh, what's. What's. 
<laughs> oh yeah, in Russia, tranquilizing is just having a couple bottles of vodka. That's not very original. <laughs> but true. <laughs> yeah, this is probably. Is you see Putin in there having a nice drink with a fucking polar bear. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> <sighs> Super Putin. I can't. That's what it says. That's what the people call him. I saw another story said that the Russian people they love Putin. They will starve for him as their economy suffers. But that's a different story, and you know I could go on and on about that. There's a tide of fracking in that story. Um, we'll, we'll talk about it sometime, folks. If you're interested, if you're interested, leave a comment. By the way, um, yeah, Catwoman, we want we want comments. Yes, we do. We want comments. Uh, I want comments, and I want uh, I want you to 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 to, to tweet me. To, to God. Sound dirty. <laughs> I always feel like a 17 year old girl when I say tweet me. Uh, tweet me. Uh-huh. Sweet. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe I should be listening to Boys to Men right now. <laughs> or whatever. Oh, wait, no, that's not... That, that's not now. What do you mean they don't... So they don't, Catwoman? They don't listen to that? Uh, apparently not. It's, new kids, it's not New Kids on the Block. No, you know what? Is it, it is Julio? New, it's New Kids on the Block because New Kids on the Block are back now. For real, not lying. What? Yeah, that's it's the it's to suck sore. <laughs> oh come on, you love the new kids. Oh, they're the best. <laughs> okay, so so it is the new kids. Mm-hmm. Is it Julio and Glacius too? The girls still Enrique like. Even. <laughs> no, it's it's. Wasn't there Julio's his father? <laughs> well, wasn't he a big star? Didn't he have like the 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 the, the mole or whatever by no, his that's eyeball? Enrique. <laughs> I get, folks. I don't Close listen. Enough. <laughs> I don't listen to pop music that much, folks. I try not to. Try not to. I like. I like the rock. I like rock, folks. That's what I like. Um. So. So yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the scary robot story. Mm-hmm. So, uh, RoboCop eat your heart out, I guess. <laughs> All right, everyone, and um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have today on uh, episode seven of the TubeCast. Our St. Patrick's Day TubeCast. That's right. Our happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Uh, you, we're so happy you were joined us. Mm-hmm. You have joined us. <laughs> all your base all belong to us. <laughs> um, I'm so happy you could be here. And mm-hmm. I want I want to see you guys here again. Um, so uh, the you know Catwoman, the best way to do that, mm-hmm. best way we could see each other again, we'll sub- subscribe. We'll use yeah. the subscribe button, That's you right. know. And I'll write a note, and you can write a note down. Um, when you hit that subscribe button, it's actually it's like having a secretary. They pull out a notepad and a pen, and they write a note. Note they simply write down, Tubecast next week. They pencil you in for that, right? And then I, I get, I, I pencil it, I pencil you in, right? And then I talk to your secretary on our, on our Blackberries. That's right. And I, you know, I call from my car phone suitcase, and uh, we make the appointment, and boom, I show up, right at your office, ready, ready to do Tubecast for you. That's right. Right in your subscription box. Catwoman and I were in your things to watch. So, um, be like a good neighbor, uh, and be State Farm in insuring us with your subscriptions. That's right. Insuring us, you will come back. Yes, so subscribe. And, and, uh, you know, thank you. Become an original, and we'll see you back here next, next time, and you can... Join us for episode 8 of the TubeCast. And, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> even, even Mikey likes it. That's right. <laughs> so, that being said, I'll, I'll see, you, see you later after you hit that subscribe button, alright? Bye-bye, everybody.
This can't be good news for Russia, which has reportedly been determined to build a variety of combat robots.